Thomas here. What I want to show you today is a beautiful specimen of poplar. Uh, this poplar log here I just hauled back from Tennessee recently and rough dimensions of the log I believe it was nine ish foot long 22 inches wide at the widest and each of these slabs here is at two inches thick and what I'm doing with these slabs is essentially I could make four excuse me two book match sets out of four slabs however I tend to like to get my best looking book match set out of the center portion of the wood or the the pith section and the reason you want to cut that pith section kind of sort it is because essentially your wood will be quarter sawn now typically if you're quarter sawing wood the pith is actually an area where it will check and kind of fall apart however for these tabletops that I like to cut the bar tops uh, it, it really adds a distinctive look to it so I like to keep it in there um, and just with the drying process you're gonna watch for any checking that may occur there and that'd be a great place to do a butterfly um, you know recessed in little uh, uh, addition to the log to help keep everything together so in order to quarter or in order to book match these sets what I like to do is you, you throw a log on the middle you'll cut your your top cut off you'll rotate the log 180 you do that top cut again so you have essentially 180 out you have two flat edges then you'll cut down to the width or to the yeah the width you want on this in this case I have eight inches right here which would give me four two inch slabs in order to book match it you have to have one of your edges nice and flat so when you fold it out you get that beautiful butterfly book match looking set so I'll throw it on the mill uh, do the top bottom cut rotate 90 degrees to the best looking now what you want to do when when you discern discerning what side you're going to use deciding what side you're going to use you got to look at the edge of your wood so this log came out of a field it had been down the ground for about six months to a year this was a better looking side the other side had actually been on the ground and since it was on the ground you had some soft spots uh, and that, but the soft spots are good because on this log on this side you actually have some of your spalting but just choose your side that you want to keep exposed uh, to be exposed you don't want to have a nasty looking edge on this side so long story short this edge here looks to be in the best condition. The good thing about poplar is uh, the bark peels right off. This will sand down real nice and it'll look really uniform and pretty. So once you get on the mill, you'll put this edge down and you'll cut on the top. Now when I was cutting on the top, I'm gonna actually grab the, the board off. You can stare right there. When I cut off the top, I actually got a really nice looking one by board. Now this was just cut and you could see some of that spalting in there, some of that you know, beautiful grain work. Poplar is a really pretty wood. It's lightweight, it's strong. As it dries, the harder it gets, the stronger it gets. So that's really, uh, again, it's my favorite type of wood. So this piece was essentially right up against here. I cut that off. I was able to get two cuts, um, two one inch boards. So I went that one away. My top right here is at 18 inches wide at the widest part of the scale in the middle. It actually might be a little bit more. But what I want to show you again is the reveal. So the top piece and the bottom piece are going to be shelves. This center cut here, I think it's going to be the most beautiful. That's going to be my book match set. So again, first time opening this, we get to see it together. Look at that color. That is some beautiful, beautiful color. So I'm going to put this monster slab down. And on these book match cuts, I like to put the cleanest blade that I have because these are going to be your money makers. These are going to be your nice fancy tabletops. I mean, look at this color. So you have, there's a little bit of purplish hues in there. You've got your greens. You got a little bit of red in there. Down here, again, you have some more blues and purples. A little bit of pink action going on here. Absolutely gorgeous. It's only going to get better, folks, because this the next slab that I take off is going to be the pit. So you'll see a little more of the heartwood there. I'll be slow, throwing it on uh, my powder over here. And the book match set, of course, will be the, the two ends that, that meet up together. So I'm going to fold this one out. This will be, it'll be dusty or, or sawdusty on the one side. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is going to be awesome. 
Again, these slabs are at 9 foot, 18 inches wide, 2 inches thick, and rather heavy. Alright, so let's come over here and take a look at this color. Now this is gorgeous, because then you're starting to get into that, pop, that uh, purple, blue, and you can see I made this cut right on the pit. This is the actual center of the log almost all the way for the entire nine foot section. Another thing I love about poplar, they grow so straight. Just love how straight they grow. So the reveal will be when I put these two together. There we go. These suckers are heavy. And as you notice, I've got little strips down there on my pallet. Those strips are to keep me off of the nails that are there. So anyone who has a sawmill or deals with wood knows that when metal touches wood, you can sometimes get like a bluing or black spot on there. It's just not as pretty. So, oh, there we go. All right, so take a look right here. So you have the edge that I cut off had the spalt. Your spalt patterns match up. Everything is a mirror image. If that's not beautiful, I don't know what is. Again, gorgeous wood. And I want everyone to see just the absolute beauty of what can be inside a poplar. So if you look right here, this is pretty cool. You've got like a narrowing effect, comes out to be eyes, wings, whatever you want to call it. And it just really, I just love when you book mesh stuff. Get that mirror image look. This will make a fantastic looking table. Again, around nine feet, book mashed out, 36 plus inches. That's one heck of a beautiful table. So I hope you all enjoyed this. I hope this helps, you know, kind of explain how the book match process works. But uh, this is some gorgeous wood. If you don't mind, we'll get an angle at this so people can see what it looks like. My wife over here, my beautiful wife, working the camera for me. <laughs> but isn't that beautiful? Now, there is sawdust on there. But, I mean, that is a table to be proud of. So everybody, thank you very much for uh, subscribing, watching my videos. Hope you enjoy, and uh, we'll get some more out here soon. Have a good one.